Oh, man. Oh, oh, he is quick. That's fine, you will be. I need to get it. Along. Come on. Every mate. You're like really far away. Hello, everybody. Mark Trances here. How's everybody doing today? So, here I have my BTS pickups. And I've just got to say a massive thank you to everyone who came up to me and spoke to me. It was an honour meeting all our subscribers and fellow YouTubers. Sorry if I didn't sort of remember if we spoke on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. It's just that so many people messaged me. It gets a little bit confusing sometimes. <laughs> it's great talking to you all. Let's just kick things off here. So I have some species that I got from BTS and I also got some um, nice gifts from subscribers as well. Which, uh, yeah, we'll have a closer look at all these in a bit. So apart from the spiders that I've got, I uh, also got some enclosures to go with the new additions. Some cork bark. And I'll try this stuff straight as well. I look for the substrate and this boat reckons this is the best substrate you can get so we'll see about that. Right so yes and three enclosures. I did want to get another enclosure as well but I sort of ran out of money. Okay so let's not waste no more time and let's show you my new additions. Okay so these are the new, new additions. Um, what I do, I'm going to show you, I'm going to be rehousing three of them today. Um, I have an idea on a couple of the enclosures for some others, so I'm going to be doing a rehousing video later on for some. I'm going to show you the three additions I've got first. So first of all, we'll have a go look at these. This is actually a species you can get in England. Ever since my one died, and you can't really get them around where I live. So Sam from Bug Realms kindly caught me a couple. It's the S. Fiorentina, the green fang. So uh, yeah, I did have one of these. I luckily found one, but ever since then, never been able to get one. But Sam from Bug Realms, he has lots of them where he lives, and he kindly went out and actually uh, caught me some. So this is the first one right here. Actually, I want to see if uh, she wants to eat, so let's just chuck in a little cricket. Yeah. Oh, no. Cricket got away. It's like a tube web spider, it lives in holes in walls. So I will be set up a nice enclosure trying to mimic its natural habitat. Right, so that's the first one. And this one's actually laid an egg sack, which is awesome. I'm not sure if the egg sack's good though. I was having a look at it and it looks a little bit crusty. But only time will tell. All I can do is just uh, I leave it in there and just see what happens. But yeah, she's uh, just in a little tube web right there. Let's see if she's hungry as well, shall we? Let's Girl as well, she? She's a bit hesitant to grab the cricket. She looks interested though. Maybe it's the light. Yeah, that's it. she's got it. Yeah, so that's two very stunning spiders there. Ones I've been after for such a long time. So thank you, Sam, for going out your way and capturing these spiders for me. Massive thank you there. Okay, let's go on to the next. Okay, next up, a massive thank you to invertebratesgram364. He messaged me on Instagram saying he got me a gift. And uh, yeah, so I saw him at the, uh, at the BTS. He come to me with this beautiful Pocopheria onata. I mean, absolutely stunning. I've got to say a massive thank you to you as well for this gorgeous spider. 
The shoes are nice size as well. Look at the colours on that. Peel Mato is one that I haven't got. A very big species of pokey as well. One of the biggest, just under the P. Rufilata. We'll do a rehousing video on this girl, but I'll put it on in a separate video. Thank you to you as well. So the uh, reverse of brakes, Graham 364. So don't give him a follow guys. He's got some great pictures as well. Okay, so next up we'll go to my, we'll have a look at my purchases at the BTS. So I wasn't sure what I wanted when I went to the BTS, but I did know that I wanted to get a load more true spiders. I'm really loving my true spiders at the moment. I just think they're absolutely fascinating. Um, so we're going to start off by, with it. let's go to the top down. So this here is the white banded fishing spider. So there she is there guys, nice size. I do get bigger than this. Don't really know too much about this spider. Um, I did have a little Google up. I'll be just keeping it in a substrated tank, this one. It's come from America and are very commonly found um, around man-made dwellings. And also in forests, just about everywhere really, even though it's called the fishing spider. It's very rarely that these things catch fish, but they've been known to catch frogs in forests and stuff. And this comes from the family of the nursery web spiders. Well, uh, I'm just going to make a normal setup for this girl. Got to put a few high logs in. So I think this is an, abor uh, an arboreal species. I will be rehousing today. But before I do that, and before I show you my other spiders, we're going to see if this girl fancies a cricket. Straight in there. Yeah, you can see why it's called the white banded fishing spider. You can see the white bands underneath the legs. Where's she going? Well, I've always found the true spiders very fascinating. And I thought recently I've been purchasing a lot of true spiders, as you know, and yeah, I just had to get that one. She's fast, wow. Oh, very quick. We're gonna pop her back in there for the time being. We're gonna leave her to it whilst I'll show you the other spiders. Okay, I'm really excited about this one because I wanted one of these for a long, long time. The D Triton. This is the six spotted fishing spider. And there you go, another stunning spider. We won't be rehousing this one today because I'm going to be doing a bit of a setup for this one. I'm going to be making like a river bank. You can often see them hanging on top of the surface of the water, waiting for vibrations. These get quite large as well, been known to catch fish and little frogs. And these can actually go underwater for up to an hour when they're trying to escape predators. And they've been known to dive underwater after fish. So yeah, very interesting spider. I've got a little cricket here, let's just uh, plonk it in front of her and see if she takes it down. Straight away, wow. The feed response on these uh, true spiders. Okay, so let's move on to my next purchases. Okay guys, the last two of my pickups. I'm very excited about this. I think I, uh, it was a bit of a bonus this was. 
So when I was looking at these spiders, oh by the way, these are the uh, the Carolina wolf spider. Um, they're actually regarded the largest of the wolf spiders found in North America, and yes, they are big. But when I was looking for these, but they had a few. The spider shop had a few of these spiders, and I, as I was looking, I noticed that one of them looked like a mature male which I think it's this one and so I thought okay let's have a look see if there's a female so I was looking and I think I've got a female here as well where it's so busy you know, I was trying to look, in, look at the pedipulps of the male it's quite hard to see but I think I have got a mature male and a female right here so we'll go have a closer look now I bet these things are fast. That's a big spider right there guys. It slightly varies in colour as well to the other one and yet they're the same species so that also gives it away a little bit. And he's very leggy. So a nice big juicy crick here, just going to pop it behind him. Just the size of him here. Let's see if he goes for it straight away. Oh, look at that, yeah. Straight away. The thing I love about true spiders as well, they just don't care where they are when they eat. Watch how quick this spider is. Oh! Oh no. Uh, come on, buddy. He's actually dropped the uh, cricket as well. So that's the thing about trying to feed tree spiders in little enclosures like this when you just bought them. Absolutely massive this spider is. Wow. <laughs> well, that did take me by surprise. But yes, we will, we will be rehousing these uh, wolf spiders. He's gonna come towards us very quick. And I'm, come on, over here, mate. <sighs> but just to uh, give you like a little indication, just how beautiful and how big this wolf spider is. Wow, look at that. Absolutely stunning. Um, let's try a thing. I don't think he's allowed back into his little enclosure that he just ran out of. Come on, buddy. Self sorted out, yeah. He actually ran straight in. I've never seen that's a quick spider. That is a quick spider. Oh, Jesus. Right, okay. Whoo! Let's get on to the rehousing. Okay, guys, so this is the setup for the, the female, the suspect female wolf spider. I just made like a little burrow in the back here, so I'm hoping she'll just use this hide and burrow right down. And that's about it really. Um, as you saw, <laughs> floor space is very important, as they do like to run down their prey. Okay, here we go. One tap, boom. There we go. 
There she is, guys. Absolutely stunning. Stunning. Okay, and for the second Carolina Wolf Spider, very similar setup. I see how this one reacts. This is the suspect Mal. Crazy spiders, these. proper look at these uh, pedipalps before confirming it. Okay, let's see if uh, she will take down this cricket. Yeah. Oh my god, absolutely crazy. Why have I never had a wolf spider before? The amount of times I've looked at them and I've always wanted one. <coughs> Just never got round to getting one. So glad I did this time round. I think it's because they were different. I thought they were going to be the uh, Miami ones, which are slightly smaller. Still stunning, but I oh, wanted something a little bit special. And these guys are definitely special. Okay, so what we're going to be doing now, <clears throat> I'm going to rehouse my white banded fishing spider. I've just basically got, going to put this one in and the bore rule set up with high logs as they do like to hang up high sort of half aquatic set up with the other fish and spider but this one is actually fine being in an enclosure like this okay so i think this is going to be a quick one as well oh i think this spider's going to be fast as well so let's just stick this in here Camouflaged looking spider, this is. You can imagine when that's spread out on a log, <clears throat> not being able to see it. There we go, straight up where it wants to be. A bit lighter, but you can imagine on a darker log, you wouldn't be able to see that, would you? You know, like it high. So that is her enclosure right there. She's looking stunning as well. We'll put some of the moss actually down the bottom. Yeah, stunning, stunning species. So when it comes to true spiders, I was just wondering, what do you guys think about true spiders? Because when I was speaking to a couple of uh, people at BTS, it seems a lot of people seem to be put off by true spiders. They think it, they're more creepy or, or whatever the reason. But would you like to see more true spiders in the videos? I know I've got a load now. But I do enjoy them. I think they're very unique. So let me know in the comment section below if you are interested in uh, these different types of true spiders I've recently been getting. I will be doing an update on the woodlouse spider, but at the moment she's literally just sealed herself in, and that is it. So there's not much I can really do about that. But I will be keeping. I do keep an eye on her and check her every day to see uh, if there's updates worth doing. So yeah, that is it for this video. I will be back with some more rehousings and a nice little setup for the other fish in the spider. That should be exciting. I'm gonna do a proper half aquatic enclosure for that one. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm not going just yet because the spider's moving around. It looks cool. Trying to get down a little gap. 
but she can't because the cricket's there. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching everyone. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you again very soon.